kept on asking me that who are these people sitting in uh, gallery number 12 and 13 and uh, Dr. Tail Menau, you know, he was like, people have forgotten about Dr. Tail Menau and yet these young kids, he's particularly used the word kids, are here with a big banner showing tribute to this legendary figure and you know, it really moved him. It's the 31st of July 1948 and Ilford FC are playing host to a game in the London Olympics, the 1948 Olympia. Now those two teams were France, they're not new to football at this level, and the national side sent by the Indian Federation, for whom this was uh, a truly historic moment. And this was their first game post-independence in 1947, right here in Ilford. And I'm standing pretty much where the centre circle would have been. And right here, the Indian captain, Talimir Aneo, and the French captain, René Corbin, would have shaken hands very cordially. And that was just the beginning. Dr. Tali Maranao is such an iconic figure in the Northeast. Again, this is a story that I've collected, but uh, it highlights why so. So when these guys were painting the banner, a group of school girls came up to them and asked them if this was the banner of Dr. Rao. Imagine, 20 years after his death, young kids still recognize who he was. So it was only fitting that a legend like him be the center of art and choreography in the stands. But to know more, I caught up with the brains behind this impressive T4. Hard-working lads from the Highland Brigade who are also a member of the Blue Pilgrims. This was the, like you know the biggest game in probably in the history of Guwahati in the recent years at least. So we were thinking to make something you know, history, something related to Northeast. Someone came up with the idea of Kalimara now. Uh, in the beginning, it was really that we never thought we could complete it. It took us uh, around. Uh, around six days, so we look uh, daily. We work for four hours, so totally around thirty-two hours. And there also we had we faced a lot uh, with the weather. A few days we could not come for the banner because there was no sun. Preparations to end with TFOs and mosaics, forces are equally important and these guys were there at the airport to just that. But there's always been this issue with getting banners and drums inside the stadium. But this time things seemed a lot more sorted. Yeah, we got in touch with the with a few AIFF officials and uh, asked them. We told them our plan. Like we want to do we want to display the TFO and uh, also do the mosaic thing. So uh, they were a bit skeptical in the beginning, but uh, later when we showed the designs and also they were okay with it. And uh, yeah, accordingly, there was no such uh, trouble for us to get inside the stadium with the banners and all. Then we thought about it and we thought that it's the perfect way to honor someone who has done so much for Indian football and who is, you know. Yeah, who is from Northeast, who has this year, who regularly speaks nice Indian football to say. We sing for you, we sing for you, la 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 la.
We stand for you. For India. For India. We stand for you. We stand for you. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. What really touched me was the game started. India started brilliantly, and yet there were journalists in the press box, age of journalists, if I may add, you know, who were absolutely seniors in this part of the country, and they were totally moved by this gesture that the Bhupil Group showed. The atmosphere might have contributed to the first goal, but India could not hold on to the lead. The Blue Pilgrims were obviously disappointed with the result, but they thought they did a decent job in the stands. Maybe they could have done better if things had gone their way on that particular day. This is the first time that the mosaic is happening. Mosaic thing was happening in Guwahati, so uh, we had we had a little bit of difficulty with arranging the crowd. You know, the biggest challenge that we faced that that, that uh, people were not there till seven fifteen, so we had to unveil it at seven twenty. So we couldn't do the uh, mosaic everywhere. Only only on the few parts of the uh, stadium we could do that. I guess people liked it, and uh, yeah, that's it. This shows that not only was he a legend, but how deep rooted football is in the Northeast society. Yes, clubs like Northeast United FC, Neroka, Icewall, Crow now play in the top division of the Indian league. But not many clubs have survived that long. Hence, there's always been a lack of local identification. But that doesn't mean football does not exist in this part of the world. After the match, it was very like when I reached the room, I saw a message on my mobile like uh, telling me like hi, this is like you know giving us introductions. It was so happy about like you know how what we did about the like, you know his father whatever you know he's proud of it and he was like he wanted to be a part of it someday in the future. He was asking me whether we could, you know whenever. We do something like that to you know to let him know. That was the best part for me, like for not just me, for everyone involved in this, like to get in touch with someone who is like his own his son, texting, or getting in touch with us in that way. It's like it's the best thing.